Have you ever wondered about the history that lies behind the world famous Bowie knife? Well, it all began with Reason Bowie, the older brother of the legendary James Bowie of Alamo fame. He designed the first version of the blade that came to be associated with his more famous brother. So why did everyone associate Jim Bowie with this knife design instead of his older brother Reason? Well, it's because of a brutal brawl that came to be known as the Sandbar Fight. What started out as a duel over honor turned into a bloody melee on a sandbar in the Mississippi River. Jim was stabbed and shot several times, but still managed to stab his assailant with a large butcher knife-like blade right through the heart. The knife's fame spread far and wide along with the reports of this fight. Now, according to a story told years later, Jim, after the sandbar fight, decided to do some slight tweaks to his brother's design and had blacksmith James Black of Arkansas make his own design a reality. Mr. Black not only forged this design for Bowie, but also hammered out a second blade with a clip point. This made for a great all-purpose tool. Bowie liked Black's modified version of the blade and took the finished product with him back to Texas and to Destiny. But... There is a knife with the engraving of Bowie Number no. 1 on display in the historic Arkansas Museum that some believe to be the knife lost at the Alamo. And most of the James Black story has been called into question in recent years, and some scholars think it nothing but nonsense. As with most aspects of Bowie's biography, it's difficult to separate fact from fiction. So, what makes a Bowie knife a Bowie knife? Well, your typical Bowie knife is usually 12 to 18 inches long total, with the actual blade being somewhere between 8 and 12 of those inches. The Bowie is usually carried in a sheath, often has a cross guard to protect the user's hand, and possesses a clip point. The Bowie became wildly popular even in Jim Bowie's lifetime, and has remained so throughout U.S. history. The U.S. Army experimented with a Bowie bayonet for the Krag rifle, and Bowie knife-style cutlass pistols. During the Civil War, many Confederate soldiers carried very large Bowie knives called D-guards. These knives were often cut from old saws in size. Many were so long they could have qualified as short swords. There was also the very stylish coffin handle Bowie with a handle resembling a coffin, hence the name. Bowie knives have appeared in many popular films as well, gripped in the hands of Crocodile Dundee, John Rambo, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Commando, among many other action heroes. And of course, they show up in all the Alamo films. Musician Davy Jones took his stage name, David Bowie, from the knife as well. The Bowie knife certainly encapsulates the saying, everything is bigger in Texas, with a creation myth to suit its epic reputation. And it's also a pretty effective all-purpose knife too. Want more Texas history? Look us up the Texas Center at Shriner University.